He built this with just HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Unbelievable. Okay, it's actually believable because this was done from my build a mobile app with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript tutorial. And it's really amazing what this dev was able to build. He changed the game. He actually made this app his. When I talk about participating in the web stack challenge, these challenges, he did it because he wants to learn. This is not, remember we've already done the whole um, challenge and winning prize stuff and the winner got the 50,000 euro cash prize and others were able to get um, free demo courses and support on making the, on hosting. So I also paid on 50% um of the price of the developer app fee of the developer account fee for a google play store account what am i saying so i paid a 50 percent price and i'm supporting them in hosting and publishing their apps to the play store but this person right now victor he is not doing it because he wants to win any prize he actually built this application because he wants to learn and it's amazing what he built i really like what um, what I can see here when after we did the challenge he sent me his own application and say hey Ebenezer, here's what I was able to build and I'm like awesome you know what I'm gonna check this out right now because I like it and I'm gonna give you um, a couple of feedback to work on and when you're able to work on this feedback then I'll highlight your project in my channel and he took all the feedback really well and turned this app into something really amazing this is what we have right now you open it up right now this is shop here welcome to shop an exciting place for the whole family to shop and reach your shopping list wisely. This is amazing. It's it's a real mobile app. You won't even tell, you won't be able to tell that this was done from my tutorial. Um, except you start going into the code. Look at this right here. So in case you want to go check it out right now, victorakinbro.github.io slash shop So you can check it out right now. Open it up, you get the prompts to install the application and then you'll be able to install it in your phone. Now this is shop right? You click on next and we have an empty list add item right here. And first thing we see is the user guide. The design is just really cool. So to add item, use the add item button right here. He's, he really took his time in creating this and I like that. I like that he took his time in creating this. And we click on the button to add an item. And let's say I wanna buy, um, I wanna buy a shoe. And it's 500 Naira. And quantity, I wanna buy three add item right there. Um, Right here, th this, looks, this just looks really good. So this has a lot of potential. It looks a bit different from what it looked like the first time before I before worked on the feedback. So you can tell that he's, he's worked on a lot of feedback already and um, I'm not gonna prolong the feedback process because it, 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 he already did a very cool design. And we can add extra items. So we have shoe right here. Um, we can add face powder. I don't know why I like adding face powder. And then um, 300 and quantity as five and add item right there so how do we edit an item um okay let's look at the guide and short tap to toggle item to purchase and tap and hold to edit item so right click to edit item on desktop so right now this is a mobile and look at this right here so you click on this button to get the info and then you can see the back button so this is all part of the feedback and he took all the feedback really well this is the kind of person you want to work with because i gave him this feedback to work in and he was like okay straight up i'm gonna do it right away and he called them working which is amazing a very good professional trait and um we have this right here for face powder for sure now i want to edit face powder and let's say look at that so you click and hold and edit an edit item okay and when i edit this item so instead of face powder i have um i have what this kid again i keep going back to the same items and price as 200 and quantity as three and look at that so we have biscuit right here and shoe and we tap to mark as purchased and we tap again to not mark as purchased now i can see one problem which i don't like is that there's not enough space between the purchase and the price and quantity and i also wish that this red um this red gap at the top was not visible i wish it was the same thing with what he did with the not purchase item so where you have the color covering everything instead of having this red border around this colored place for price and quantity so i wish that was not there but apart from that yeah i like the idea of just clicking and marking as purchase and you hold to edit the item and how about deleting an item let's try that so look at this we have the pop-up yes the pop-up very necessary and he worked on this he gave me the pop-up immediately asked for it and 
amazing and delete on, delete item yes we want to delete this item that's cool victor so this is really cool um do we have any more oh yeah we also have clear all items so look at this right here so you click you tap on this button and clear all you want to clear all items yes please i don't want to accidentally clear all items i have that i need that model to be sure that this is what i want to do and oh we have this oops empty list i really like the animations it makes it feel like a real application oh wow did you see my rhyme in there <laughs> so the animations are really nice um to think that this is just html CSS, and javascript this is amazing this is really amazing victor you did a great job here you did a really great job here one final thing before i end this video let's go look at his code let's see if you really did with this with just html CSS, and javascript or if you use the framework to do this so um let me come right here to the um repository url so look at this right here victor akinboro slash shop viewer and you can scroll down to see the readme.md a shopping list progressive web, applic web application built with happiness is done with more exciting features here's a link to the tutorial there, and link to the hosted app linkedin and check out so i'm going to leave a link to this repository URL in the description of the video so you can go check it out yourself right now right now um check out his linkedin check out his um hosted app and look at his portfolio right here so I can even open up his portfolio right here before we go over to the code. And this is samuelakimpro.netlify.app. Why is it taking so much time to load? Is this from my internet or is it from Netlify? Or is this from the application itself? Oh, that's a sleek portfolio. I've not been here before. This is nice. Is this all? Is this still loading? So I'm, I doubt that this is from my internet. I think there's something huge that's trying to load up. Um, there's so much empty space and I think maybe there's something that's about to come. Okay, no, this is not a portfolio review. So this is a portfolio, you can check it out and then you'll see what's there. But it's too loaded, I wonder why. Is that from my internet? No, it's not because GitHub has finished loading. Anyway, um, you can go check out this portfolio, check out this LinkedIn and let's see what we have in this code base. So going over to WebStorm right now and I have the repository, I'll clone this repository and this is what we have so um right here we have the assets first of all which contains the images we have png for the images cool did he um um optimize these images i wonder what the file size is like this is right here 66.53 kb ah uh, i think um i think this could be optimized i think this these images could be optimized and then we have the css right here so anime.min.css if he was doing the if he, if he was part of the challenge um this would have not been accepted because i i was i asked them not to use external um libraries apart from dexy and workbook but this is not part of the challenge so yes it's totally accepted it amazing um then style the css and this is this is just css and javascript this application is html css and javascript no framework made a js file right here did he do what i asked him to do i asked him to break down the the main.js file into smaller files i'm not sure he did that okay he did that right here in database function.js okay so we're gonna look at that and then we have a um, page transition leave welcome page and this is a um, a narrow function that leaves the welcome page welcome page because i don't start the transform and leave empty list page and okay so apart from this where we have all these variables that were just declared here without um spacing or or empty lines i like that he broke this down into functions and which is cool which is the premise of the mobile app tutorial in the first place i broke every everything down into functions um, which i expected to do try to break things down into functions then then functions should do one thing so the function name is descriptive of what it, it actually does All right here we have leave empty list page right here we have hide add item form right here user guide page and i wonder what this does does this do anything I'd expect something like go home, hide item from like um, like an action word. So we have user guide page. What does this do? User guide button does start or display none. And then you display the user guide page. So maybe this should be go to user guide page or display user guide page instead of just user guide page. And we have all this page, same thing. And we have three empty lines here, which is not really cool. So I'll remove the two other empty lines and leave just one empty line. But yeah, this is not my code window.add event listener and yeah what do we have here why is webson flagging this as, er as an error promise return from fetch item is ignored oh okay and 97 right here 
comparison delete all item from the style of display code not because unexpected type coercion okay so Samuel, maybe you should use webstorm and so that you'll be able to see some of these errors and see if you can if you've had if you have any fix for them if you can think about fixes for them but um some other editors might not show you these errors webstorm is a smart idea which helps to this open this up with the webstorm menu see this duplicated code fragment 14 lines long so untold start right here then attribute untold start is not allowed here you touch and hold edit item and all that so this looks cool this looks like a totally different app and i like that you build this um without thinking about any kind of price that's amazing that's the kind of person i want to work with so um check out samuel's github check out this code base check out samuel's github check out samuel's portfolio and look at that the portfolio has loaded and we have this app right here um the shop Fira. and these are his projects. I like this. This is why it was taking so much time to load because of all this. So I like, um, I like this. I like this. This is, uh, this is really cool. This portfolio is really cool. And then you check out his, um, LinkedIn. I don't think I can open his LinkedIn in incognito, but you check out his, um, LinkedIn and I'm going to leave the link in the description below. Give him a thumbs up. If you can give this repo a star, that would be amazing. And then let me know what you think in the comment section below. Do you want me to do more videos like this? So if you want me to do more videos like this, let me know. All right, so see you in my next video. Don't forget to like, please, and subscribe and share. I'm asking you to do so many things, but please help me help this channel grow. <laughs> Bye.